Project 3, Raspberry Pi, NAS Drive, NTFS or EXT4 format. I'm going to be using two hard drives, one 2.5 inch powered by the Raspberry Pi and one 3.5 inch externally powered. Open up a terminal and create a share for the first hard drive. MKDIR stroke home stroke pi stroke pi P4 NAS1. This will create the share first of all. Initially this will be on the SD card but later on we're going to copy the SD card to a hard drive. We're going to install Samba, so that's sudo apt-get install Samba, Samba common bin. This will take a few minutes. At this point we're going to change the password, so that's sudo smb passwd a pi. Tap the password and retype to confirm. Open up terminal again. Type sudo nano etc samba smb conf. This will open up an editor for the smb conf file. Scroll to the bottom. And add the code for the share. So that's p4 nas1. The path is home pi p4 nas1 with these permissions. At the same time, do the same one for p4 nas2. This has a slightly different path, which is media pi p4 nas2. Save that file and reboot. I'm going to add the S I'm going to add the hard drive to the Raspberry Pi. In accessories, choose the SD card copier utility. Copy from the SD card, which is 32 gigabytes, to the hard drive, which is 500 gigabytes. And this will take a few minutes to copy over. Once this is complete, you can reset the Raspberry Pi and take out the SD card. It should then boot from the hard disk. On my Windows PC, I'm going to rename the powered hard drive, the three and a half inch, to P4 NAS2. I'm 
I've added the two hard drives to the Raspberry Pi and rebooted. Now I'm going to add the shares to my, uh, my network. So I've got the IP address of the Raspberry Pi and P4 and NAS1. Put in the username, which is Pi, and the SMB password, the Samba password. That's share one sorted. Now I'm going to map the second hard drive. Same IP address, but this time it's P4 and NAS2. Here we go. You can tell it's a Windows uh, NTFS drive with the recycle bin and the system volume information. Now I'm going to test the speed of these hard drives by transferring some files to each of the shares. So the boot drive I'll copy a file over, a 2 gigabyte file. You can see the speed is fairly high, 80 to 85 megabytes a second. It's pretty good. Okay, on the second hard drive, which is the NTFS drive, the speed is quite a bit lower, just under 30 megabytes a second. If I go over to the Raspberry Pi, we'll look at the drives and see if the files are there. So in the boot drive, the P4 NAS1, there's the file. I've got a media, Pi, P4 NAS2. There's a second, there's a file again. This time I'm going to format the drive as an ext4 format, which is a Linux format. I'm going to be using Minitools Partition Wizard on my, uh, on my PC. It's a free utility. This will take several minutes. It's actually quite a long uh, process compared to the NTFS format.
Now back on the Raspberry Pi, I've uh, attached the hard drive, but this time we've just we've just got to change the permissions. There it is. ext4 format just run that command sudo chmod and we're finished with that Transfer the same file over and this time speed is quite high, it ranged from about 75 up to about 110 megabytes a second. <laughs> 